Yo, what's up? It's Lord DNA, also known as Lord Homeboy, and this is my second video on my personal sex tips. Like this video, subscribe to my video, and um, do all that good shit. Share it. Now I'm not a sex expert, and I don't claim to be. They're just basic fucking tips that you probably never even fucking heard of. Okay, so first tip. First tip that every woman says, listen to her body and respond to her needs. But you definitely should do that. Females are not all the same. Not all va vaginas are the same. Most vaginas are not the same. They're like fingerprints. They're similar, but everybody has a different fingerprint. And every woman's vagina is her treasure box. And it should be treated differently with its own identity and its own name and you when a woman is breathing no seriously like if the woman is breathing all no, fucking just listen to just pay attention don't be totally oblivious to what's going on you should know when she wants it harder or, fa <clears throat> or faster or the slow stroke or long dick style or whatever the fuck just pay attention to that shit that comes with experience and knowing certain responses and certain buttons to push and shit like that but definitely pay attention and just don't be in your fucking own zone it's not all about you me i am an entertainer so i like to perform i like to do shit you know for the for the people for everybody so listen to her body all vaginas are not the same which comes to my second tip don't be selfish Every female that I've ever fucking talked to, except for like three, they always say the same shit. They go the same speed. We do the same positions. And they come in like five, ten minutes. No. Lord DNA does not have sex if we're going to fuck for five or ten minutes. I've only had sex for like five or ten minutes, like three times. Because I just really wanted to, you know, and I didn't feel like jerking it. So don't be selfish i mean if you can only last for five to ten minutes you know throw some other shit in there do a little bit of floor play do a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that a little bit of that spank her clitoris with your penis a lot of females don't know that they like that because it's never been done to them i learned that from a pornography film don't be selfish and yeah now mm, this is this next tip. These next two tips are actually just one tip. And it involves the second one. You'll know why I laughed in a minute. So, the third tip is learn how to learn how to learn how to have learn how to fuck different parts of the vagina. The vagina. Nah. So, you can do three things. The first thing is, you can have sex with the deepest part of the vagina that you can go. There's the, the deep, the middle, and the beginning of the vagina. You have to learn how to have sex with the deepest part that you can have sex with. And if you're in the deepest part, if you're like me, there's a little fucking thing in the back and I don't know what it's called because every time she tries to name parts of her vagina I don't listen which is another tip you should definitely study gynecology just study the vagina just know different parts of the vagina I don't personally because I don't have any interest in the names or anything like that I think she said it's like her um cervix or some shit I think and it feels like it's in her stomach whatever the fuck and there's all kind of different nerves but learn how to have sex with that part of the vagina learn how to have sex with the middle part which is not putting the whole thing in maybe take a couple inches off maybe two or three and um learn how to have sex with just the head of your penis just the beginning of it just the very beginning of it because a woman can still have an orgasm if you have sex with just that part of it the vagina now 
Me, my personal tip, one of my favorite things to do, not one of my favorite things to do, but one thing that is very easy that helps with not busting too quick is um, just putting the head in. So if I'm just ramming, ramming, boom, 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 with the whole dick, then I take it out, mostly just the head in, keep just the head in, and then just put that shit in like six to nine times. Don't, 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 do, and then go in deep. That's my thing. And it makes it so much wetter, and they all respond, ah, that's so awesome. Because <laughs> it's just the head, and they still like it. They're like, ah, I kind of like that. I really do like it. And then when they start liking it a lot, just jump in, splash. Um, and the next tip is a lot of women, like probably 90%, like to be dominated during sex and don't want you to go soft at all and don't want to make love and, you know, caress their face and just let them take over and do all that shit. Like a lot of women do want to like ride you and just and just take over and shit and that's their expression of their femininity. And um that's fine. But mostly domination is the game. Just think about this think about the science of it. Think about the spirituality of it. You are penetrating a woman. You're almost totally taking over her body. You're almost totally in control of her emotional, sexual feeling at that time. You're entering her kingdom and you're making her react in certain ways, however the fuck you want to. If they allowed you to do that, boom, take full advantage. Dominate. Dominate. Don't be selfish, but definitely dominate. Hold her arms down and fucking whatever the fuck. Shit like that. Tell her what to do and fucking take control. Take total control. Not rape, but take total control. Next. See, this is kind of... A lot of people say sex is like... 20% physical sex doesn't really happen until after you have sex and it's not happening while you have sex and it's like 30% before you have sex but my tip is to have a try to sneak in having conversations on what they like during sex whether you do it jokingly whether you fucking have a actual fucking extensive conversation on what they like which is not weird at all but you know that would have helped a lot of men if they just were like and that's a part of you dominating dude i want to have this fucking conversation what do you like if she said a date she said we're dating i'm not gonna let you smash for fucking the first three months and we have this date march 30th which is my birthday i call it a day um Try to have that conversation, you know. Another tip would be that's totally separate. That's not totally separate from this. But if you're going to like, if you're going to study these positions and, and watch porn and get your uh, sex guides and shit like that, you can do it with the woman. Me, I like to surprise like, oh, where'd you get that from? But a lot of females, you know, they want to partake in the in the studies of, your, of sexuality and positions and shit like that. A lot of women are fucking crazy, and they think that you fucked a whole bunch of bitches and cheated on them because you know all these sex positions. But that's their fucking problem because you are the man. But don't tell them I said that. Next is, um, learn your own body. If you if you are a fan of Cat Williams, you've heard him make a joke about learning your stroke number. If you can only do certain things, certain positions, for a certain t amount of times. That's another reason why you should learn different positions and learn how to be sex guides. Because you don't you being in doggy style for a certain position for a certain amount of time, her being you fucking doggy style, that might not work. That might be your exit move. That might be the nut buster. So start with this and this and this and this. 
something that makes her vagina feel like this, and uh, you know, that's not as appealing, that, you know, do this, do this, do this, see me, I'm not like a big fan of foreplay, because I'm an Aries, I like to just, you know, like, get it wet, jump right, in, jump right in, but subconsciously, I think I was not a fan of foreplay, because, not because I just want to jump right in, because me sucking on some titties, or doing other things, that makes me fucking bust quicker. I sucked on my girlfriend's titties for like five minutes. I was so fucking aroused that I came a lot quicker than I definitely planned. And that I usually did at that time. Because sucking on titties is my thing. And I didn't know that. That's why I don't like foreplay. Because it makes me come quicker and it makes me more aroused. Whatever. Um, actually... I have another tip that I didn't even write down. You should learn what to do before, during, and after your woman having an orgasm. When I get the end, uh, what's the word? When I get the signal, when I get the flag that she's on the way, I change things during my long stroke. And do whatever I'm doing longer and harder. Not so much faster. Longer, harder, deeper. Boom. 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 And before, I just keep doing what I'm doing. Maybe a little fast, a little bit faster, a little bit harder. Uh, during, I speed up harder, faster, deeper. And then after... Slower, longer, deeper, harder. Um, yeah. Next is, don't be afraid to communicate your wants and needs to your woman. Tell her what you like. Tell her what you don't like. I don't like females touching my balls. I don't like my balls being squeezed. I don't like um, too much... Too much head stimulation because there's too many nerves in my head and it's extra sensitive and it feels weird. I do like a tongue in my penis hole. I do like the bottom vein and the top at the bottom being stroked. You guys don't need to know that, but I know what I like. Know what you like. Tell your girl what you like and what you don't like. Or if it's during a situation, you might not want to say, I don't like that. You might want to say, hold up, do this, put your hand right here. You know, that. So, that's all my tips, which may come with other tips later. But the last part of this video <clears throat> is three tips that my girlfriend gave for the men, or for the women. And, um, yeah. So, the first tip that she gave me was that when you have sex with a stranger or somebody for the first time, you should ask permission in a way. Or, you know, experiment. Just try it. As she says no, or you don't get the correct body language respond, pull back. Stop. No means no. Um, the second, it, second one is that most women like getting their hair pulled hair pulling tips ponytail position get all the hair that you can pull it or clump it like this but try to get as much as you can i don't like getting my hair pulled because i'm not a bitch but if they have short hair like that in the back usually or on the top get as much as you can though if you have baby hands your are so well use both on the bolt like right here and right here on a woman from the back or on the top whatever and then lastly she says that 50 percent of women women like getting spanked and beat up not beat up but like getting their ass slapped and shit like that and spanked and shit but that's it Lord DNA, for sure. Those are my personal sex tips. Three of <clears throat> my girl's personal sex tips. 
and advice to all the men out there and the females. Hope you enjoyed it. Like this video, subscribe to this video, and uh, strap up. Be safe. Use a condom. Peace.